Okay, so now we are going to look at vector subtraction in a pictorial way or graphical way. So how do we subtract vectors visually? How do we represent vector subtraction visually? And what are our strategies? What are our tools? Okay, so this is the idea that I have two vectors. <clears throat> Let's say I have vector A and vector B. All right, so I have vector A and vector B. And I'm interested in looking at the resultant vector A minus B. We're going to call that vector vector C. So how do I get A minus B? It's going to be useful to remember some of our truths about things like addition and subtraction. A minus B is the same as A plus negative vector B. Those are identical. So that also will e equal the resultant vector C. So what is negative vector B? Well, it's just the opposite of B. If vector B is pointing to the right, negative B is of the same magnitude but pointing to the left. So our negative B vector is just the opposite vector to B. Vector B is to the right in this case, negative B will be to the left. Then I can just use my rules of vector addition. So I'm going to shift both vectors over for a little bit more room. So here was my vector A. Now I'm going to add to that the negative vector B. So I take negative vector B, I take the tail of negative, negative B to the head of vector A. There it is, so here's B. And I draw my resultant vector from the tail of A to the head of B. So my resultant vector C, vector A minus B, is shown by the green vector C. All right, good. What if I wanted to do, let's just as another practice, let's do instead of A minus B, let's do vector B minus A, and we'll call that resultant vector D just to be, dif just to distinguish. So here's my resultant vector D that I'm now interested. Well, remembering that B minus A is the same as B plus negative A, that's going to be resultant vector D. So what will negative A look like? Well, negative A is going to be the same length, opposite direction. So here is my negative vector A. So how do I subtract A from B? Well, let's start off with our vector B. So there was vector B. And then we take my negative vector A, I pick it up, I put head to tail, head to tail, here is my negative vector A, and the resultant vector goes from the tail of B to the head of A. So this was our vector D. All right, so vector subtraction, we can just think about vector subtraction as addition of negative vectors, and it makes that pictorial representation much more straightforward. Good job.